Welcome back to Elden Ring. I'm about to go explore this building here. We're just past the storm gate. Uh, but just right before that, I realized I forgot one thing. We were over here before, but I didn't fully explore there. Also, I never found this. Smithing stone. I wonder what this message says. I did it! Good for you. We're just gonna ignore the giant, I think. And the wolves. Let's hope they don't pursue me too far. Something got appraised. Okay, yeah, I was here. And then... And then I just ran away. I had to make a cut that I don't know if anyone caught, but I actually was away from the computer for like 15 minutes. So I kind of forgot what I was actually doing here. What I meant to do is, yeah, like look at that down there. There's an enemy, there's a chest. Jumping required ahead. If I fell that distance, I would probably die, but I suppose I could jump onto that higher platform. Ooh, something else is appraised. Is that the intended way down? I guess, or there might be an easier way on the other side, but let's try this. I'm gonna sprint. Whoa, oh my god. Holy crap, sure that works. Gah. Uh. Getting a lot of appraisals. Okay, now I could probably fall from here. Ah, oh, yes. Took a little bit of damage. Oh, there's just a yeah. I could have just come from the other side. Ah, damn it! I almost did it. Okay, I took a much cooler way down though, right? I mean, that was really cool. Arrows reach talisman. Hidden path ahead, uh-huh. Oh wow, great hidden path, thank you. Arrows reach increases the effective range of bows. Getting a lot of message appraisals. Oh yeah, uh, we also have the coat. Tree and beast surcoat. Armor worn by soldiers loyal to Godric the Grafted. The surcoat depicts the distant Erd tree and the beast regent, an emblem of the golden lineage. Both are symbols of glory now past. How does this compare? I forgot how to compare. Oh no, it's because I'm looking in the inventory, that's why I can't compare. I have to be actually looking at the slot. There we go. Much better physical. Hmm. Only moderately worse. Magical. So I think this actually maybe is better. The focus is certainly less. The poise is certainly more. Hmm. Okay, what does it look like? Is it fashion? No. That, that is not fashion. That is not fashion souls. That's ugly souls. All right, let's check out that place that I originally wanted to go to. Ah, one of these. Stormhill Evergel. 
try guard counter. Try rolling. Don't give up, skeleton. Well, there's no skeleton here, but you know what? Anything that says don't give up, skeleton, is going to get an upvote from me. Crucible Knight. Oh, they look cool. Okay, you might be a ambush shard. The problem with the ambush shard is that it costs a lot of FP, like I think about twice the FP, which means I'm not going to be able to do that much damage just because of the limits of FP. So I do wonder whether magic is the way to go. Just see how much damage I can do with just ambush shard. Yeah, so this is how much damage I did with one FP bar. Even three more FP bars is not going to do it. Now I think my FP is better spent on whisking. Yeah, whisking does not work. Like, I just can't get around the shield. Let's try parrying. That is not much damage. That is really not much damage. I want to try a couple other types of weapons to see if they do more damage. This one has the same attack type as the flail, but it's the pick, and it says it's specifically good at piercing through armor, so I don't know what matters more, the type or the dex description? Oh, I also put parry on my um, good shield, which I then forgot to put on. There we go. I decided it is actually important to have it on the shield that protects 100% against, against it. Okay, that's not any better than the flail. Next we have a spear plus seven. It just came plus seven. I don't actually remember where we got it. Well, that was the best damage yet, but it is plus seven. It wasn't like extraordinarily good. 200 damage on that parry. Last weapon test. This, which I may or may not have the strength to wield depending on whether it rounds up or down, I don't know. No, I don't think I have the strength to wield it. 12 damage? <laughs> no. <laughs> not at all. Okay, so it turns out the best tactic is actually just to spam magic even though it's hitting their shield and does very little damage. It's still better. But is it more fun? Not really. And those attacks, those special attacks that it started doing there, the angel wings and the like dragon tail or whatever are so cool. Those are beautiful attacks. I love them. I don't want to just cheese this enemy to death. 
So I'm actually going to stick with how many um, FP potions I have. Enough to get it down fairly low, but... I still have to do a bit of work up close. Otherwise, it would just be cheesing it too much. I want to beat it with some magic and some melee. Yes! <laughs> How's that for an end? Finished with some parries. Oh, that felt good. Mmm. Aspects of the Crucible tail. What is that? I don't know. That enemy's really cool. I love those moves. Those, like, dragon... I don't know if they're dragon. Dragon angel-esque moves are so pretty. Weirdly enough, this has actually been the hardest boss in the entire game for me so far. Although partially of my own making. Like, I didn't realize until partway through that I could cheese it if I wanted to by just putting everything in FP and just shooting at the shield. Even though it only did 25 damage per hit, it would add up. But I'm glad I didn't do that. I did a bit of that and then a mixture of parrying and ah, that feels good. Oh, it doesn't even give me... Killing that boss doesn't even give me my flasks back. 
Oof. Okay, what did we... Uh, let's actually just teleport somewhere safe, because I probably have a lot of souls on me. I had 9,000 before defeating the boss, and I'm not sure how many of the boss itself gave me. Like 2,000 or so. Let's level up. Hmm. Vigor's always good. But um, maybe mind. I could use a bigger FP pool for sure. Yeah, so what exactly did I just pick up? Oh, it's an incantation. Creates supple tail to sweep area before caster. Supple tail. Creates a supple tail that sweeps through foes before the caster. Charging enhances potency. This is a manifestation of the Earth Tree's primal vital energies, an aspect of the primordial crucible where all life was what's was once blended together. That's such a cool looking move. It's gorgeous. Well, I guess I can get rid of the parry on my shield now. Right, so we've been here, but I haven't really checked out here on this upper shelf. And then also maybe I could get to the forest here? Possibly. Apparently we're supposed to go somewhere this way. I'm assuming like to this road and then in here, probably. So I'm trying to avoid that. But yeah, let's... Oh my god. <laughs> that really goes up there, huh? But yeah, let me see if I can get to this, like, foresty shelf over here. The rock formations here are really interesting. Hey, Hooter. Am I in the forest? No, it's above me. there's a pathway up here. Before that, let me just make sure there's nothing at this end of the shelf. Well, there's a little something. Yeah, these seem to always have starlight shards. That restores FP over time. Whoa. Jumping! <gasps> the bats! They're hanging! The bats are hanging! Oh! They're too cute! I love bats! Item. Crossed legs. Well done. I'm surprised there was no message for this. Visions of dragon. Actually, yeah, reminds me of that dragon in Dark Souls 3. That person where you have to, like, sit next to them, you have to actually do an emote to then be transported to the, like, the land of dragons or something like that. Anyway, I gotta put a message down here. Item up. Let's check out this little forest. I see a spectral jellyfish. Oh, they're all over the place. Okay, I'm seeing a commonality to where they appear. They seem to appear around graveyards. I wonder why. They're so pretty. Ethereal. Oh, 
Oh. I want to be careful here. I don't want to use arc because I don't want to accidentally hit the spectral jellyfish. Get there? <gasps> you can! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I did it. It's actually really difficult to get up here. I'm gonna leave a message here, and if it gets one like, just one like, by the end of this playthrough, I'm gonna be so happy. Because that means someone else reached it. And I want to know that someone else spent as much time trying to get to the top as I did. I should try to put it on, like, the edge so that maybe someone will see the message from down below. Give them a little more motivation. Just, well done. Scribble, scrabble. Oh, I see this one over here. This one's a lot easier to get to, though. Where'd it go? Ah, well. I really do hope I get one, just one upvote on that, or even a downvote, I don't care, I just... Some acknowledgement that someone else went to the top of that would be so cool. Whoa, these jellyfish over here are angry. Why just those ones? Ah! Oh no, that's, that's Spectral Jellyfish. I thought it was the glow of one of them coming back to life. Don't hit the jellies. Godric Soldier Ashes. Yeah, I still haven't needed to summon help for anything yet. Blood Rose. I'm just gonna yoink this real fast. Magic Gree! Oh my god! Ugh. Oh, they're all angry now. I'm sorry I took your Magic Grease. So that must be magic as applied to the weapon. Oh, whoa! Those things can do some ranged. Oh. Oh, can I get to the top of this? Okay, the message is gone now, unfortunately. But I'm gonna leave one on my own. Well done. And now we're back to the forest. 
friend ahead. That is a friend. Look at it. All right, let's continue north here on this road. It looks like there's one path that goes west and kind of like loops around and then probably leads here where we need to go. But I'm just going to go straight north. And it looks like we'll hit a dead end of this bridge because it looks broken. Let's go check it out. Yeah, the path, the path north is unpaved. It's wild. The other one that leads to the castle, I presume, is very clean, nicely kept, cobbled. Try mushroom, and then didn't expect too high up. <laughs> they got high on shrooms, is what they're trying to say in Dark Souls language. Ooh. What are those? Oh, those are the bats also. They're just on the ground, just huddled around. Oh, look at their little eyes. I'm just gonna leave them. Bridge ahead. Yes. Precious item ahead. Lover ahead. Fingers, oh fingers. They do have a lot of fingers, don't they? Those eyes really, um, really stare into your soul. Wait, are... No, those are... I thought they had multiple... Like, more than two hands, but actually I think those are just their feet. And they're using one of them to kind of grip the stick. You... Please... I can read them. Your fingers... Please, your fingers... Um... Do I have to? I'm a little scared. Okay. of gold tarnished. Traverse Rhea Lucaria, Glintstone Eventide, and reunite the half crescents at the Grand Lift. Oh, but the bridge is collapsed and cannot be crossed. Only why should that matter? Stormvale Castle still stands tall. Yeah, that's what I figured. So I think they're basically saying if you want to, whoops, if you want to get across the bridge, you're gonna have to go through the castle and pop out the back somewhere. Praise the arms. Fingers ahead. <laughs> Look carefully. Look carefully and then behold secret passage. Huh? Eh? Oh, yes. Indeed. Cookbook! Yes! Uh, 
Seek here. I found it. See if I can spot any new recipes. Now we can make cotton. Yeah. Made with rower fruit and a smoldering butterfly. Let's make a couple of these. What else can I make? Holy water pot. Throw at enemies to inflict holy damage. Uses mushrooms and tarnished golden sunflowers. Horse required ahead. Try jumping. Wait, what do you mean? Like, to go back? Seek... <laughs> Seek dragon butthole. Alright, I'll, I'll look for it. Oh damn, you can get back up. Praise the horse. Try jump attack. <sighs> Ashavor Stormwall. Let there be a mushroom. It's always mushroom. Why is it always mushroom? Oh no, it says liar ahead and then death ahead. I could leave someone to believe that it's a lie that there's death. It's an unfortunate combination of messages. Secret ahead. Secret passage ahead. Try jumping. Death ahead. Scarab ahead and then down. Oh yeah, just there where I was already. Hi. Let there be material. Don't think ahead? What? <gasps> oh. Still no jumping. Precious item ahead. There's so many messages here. Stay calm. This is a long passage. I wasn't expecting something this large. Dog? Yes. I love that there's a message for every mushroom in the game. That's beautiful. We're really just going up, 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 aren't we? <laughs> Try luring out and then Try rushing in. <laughs> Complete opposites of the tactical spectrum.
Let there be tree. Look at that little wiggly fella. Liernia of the Lakes. So that just takes me... Well... Sort of takes me across the bridge. There's no way down yet, though. Hmm. There are some pillars there that you could probably take down. What is this? Crystal butt. A young plant crystallized before it could mature, widely found in Liernia Lake. Well done, and then let there be good luck. Oh, are you ready? By the way, good luck. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. I'm going to mark that. We got a person. Hi. Forgive me. I've been testing you to determine if the Elden Ring would truly have you. If you had the metal to endure this long and arduous path. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the Round Table Hold, gathering place of tarnished champions, guided by grace. I'll go too. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. The Round Table Hole is a place where tarnished gather, guided by grace. Combat's prohibited on the premise due to a pact of non aggression. The Round Table Hold is located outside of this world. It can only be reached through Sites of Grace. It can also be accessed by using the map to travel. Whoa. There are a lot of people to talk to, so it, it, is this my hub, basically? Is there a hub, then? And this is it? quite late in the game to to um unveil it to me I'm like surprised it took so long I was just expecting there not to be any sort of hub I mean the the hub in Dark Souls 2 and 3 was introduced well in Dark Souls 2 it was introduced almost right away in Dark Souls 3 it took a little bit of time you had to get through a boss to get to it but still it was also pretty quick Like, where, where am I? Oh, just, it's just kind of a thing in the corner. Table of Lost Grace. Well, I want to talk with this person first. That was at the side of Grace. Hello? Is someone there? My name is Hayata, and I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? My eyesight has been weak since birth, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next. But when I eat one of those grapes, 
I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty as a finger maiden. I don't think I have any grapes. Also, I am just roasting them. Just burning their hand. Sorry. Hello? There's someone there. Would you donate any them on a pilgrim and when I eat one of those grapes? Well, there's no prompt, so I guess that means I don't have it. Gorgeous view. Yeah. God, look at it all. There's a war encampment down there. Another one of those boss arenas with the teleporty thing in the cir in the center. Oh, there's a huge house up there on that hill. A deep forest, probably a poison swamp. Oh, there's a massive castle right there in the distance. Tree, the earth tree. Where is that castle on the map? It's. Is it off the map, actually? I think it is. Because there's no way it's just right there. No. No, that's off the map. Does that mean I won't get to go there, or just that it's... I don't know, maybe my map is going to be extended at some point. Behold, Elden Ring. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we have a lot to explore, but I guess the first thing I'm going to do is go back to the... What was it called? The Table of Lost Grace, the Round Table Hold, and talk with everyone in here.